once again, I'd like to welcome everybody here. It's good to see uh, all of you. And uh, it's interesting when we have more people here, you know, it, it, it mixes things up a little bit because I'm th totally thrown off because usually the cold sit over here. And I'm used to now, now Andrew's still there. He came early because that's like his seat. I mean, they, they're always there. Okay. But the Coles, they were, they were messing around, goofing around, and they, pretty soon, they lost their spot. But there's a little bit of stuff mixed up here today, but that's good. Because that's fun, and we enjoy being together and seeing each other. Well, we're going we're gonna to take up our offering, and uh, I'm going to ask Macy to come, she's going to play a song for us during this. And uh, uh, I just want to encourage you, first of all, if you're visiting, this isn't necessarily a time for you. This is the time for the people that are part of this ministry to give back to God. Now, if you're visiting and you want to do something for the Lord, this ministry is that we're God's doing things, that's cool. But for the most part, it's a chance for you guys that are part of this fellowship to give back to the Lord with joy in your heart, knowing that, uh, that through that obedience, God's going to bless us do some cool things. So let's pray and ask God to, to bless this offering that you guys come for. Lord, I thank you uh, that you've given us so much, especially in this culture, in this country, where even in hard times, even even... When the economy's bad, we still got so much more than we deserve, really, I guess. I don't know. Really, everything that you give us is, is just great. We don't really deserve anything. But Lord, you take such good care of us, and we thank you for that. And we pray, Lord, that as we give back to you, that you would multiply that, Lord, make it even more than what it is, as we try to make a difference in this community, helping people out and, and sharing life with the people around us. God, just continue to, to use what's given, and help us to be good stewards of the Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs> Desserts. If you want dinner, 
then our two groups are constantly competing. Uh, 20s and 30s group is at the Brugman now. They meet every other week, but they always have some good food there too, and that'll be the Brugman this week. And then men's fraternity, the Wednesday morning group has finished. They're done with the material. The Saturday morning group still has a couple weeks left to finish that material, and then we're going to go on to something new and keep going through the spring and summer. The Wednesday group will, at this point, looks like you're going to be taking a break until the next session of men's fraternity starts up in uh, in September. Okay, so that's what's going on there. Uh, there's no Omega group tonight. There's a junior high group. Uh, no Omega. Jesus said, "I'm the Alpha and the Omega," and He always exists. He's always there. So just because it says there's no Omega doesn't mean Jesus is gone. It just means that the group Omega is not meeting. And do we have an Alpha slide? We do. Okay, Alpha will be meeting at the walls. They caved into the pressure. Um, they did not want to meet on Easter, but the kids whined so much. Mike told me, guys, teenagers, sorry, that they caved in, and you guys will meet tonight at 6 o'clock, okay? And going through Ruth, chapter 1, Elimelech takes the family on a food run. On a food run. Uh, so that'll be fun for the kids there. All right, uh, a couple other little things. Um, we are actually going to be entering into a softball league, some of the guys. It's not a church league, and it's not a church team, okay? But it just so happens that I'm kind of putting the thing together, so I'm throwing it out there. If anybody wants to play, be at Lions Park tomorrow at 6. Lions Park tomorrow at 6, and we're going to have our first practice. The season starts in three weeks. It's just a regular Altoona City League, okay? All right, so if you're interested in playing some softball, some of you guys look like you need some exercise. Um, uh, enough said. Uh, softball, okay? You do run a little bit in that sport. Not as much as in basketball or something. Um, so, tomorrow at 6, Lions Park. If you want to put something on your card, if you're interested in playing, put that on there and include that in the basket. I'll give you a call with more details, send you an email or something like that, okay? Uh, is there anything else going on? Am I forgetting any announcements? We're still small enough church to where we can do this. Uh, anybody out there have an announcement or something we need to know about? Of course, the, the wedding is this week. People will be getting married, uh, and everybody, of course, is invited to that. That'll be over at Lighthouse Community Church on the south side this Saturday. Uh, be praying for them. Uh, praying that God bless the wedding, that God continue to give patience to Jeff and Bernita as they go through this stressful process of producing a wedding. Uh, anybody else? Anything else going on? All right. Well, let's uh, let's all stand together. Uh, if you're new to this church, what we do at this time during the service every week is we give the kids a chance to go to the kids' ministry, and we give the adults a chance to go refill their coffee real quick. But there's a lot going on, so get your coffees quick and be 